il m'a fait découvrir l'amour. Qu'est-ce que c'est vraiment euh, l'amour? La femme, franchement, que je suis euh, devenue à travers mon cheminement à la découverte de Dieu, euh, franchement, je, je remercie le pasteur parce qu'il m'a vraiment montré à travers sa vie, à travers sa personnalité, l'amour de Dieu. Qu'est-ce que c'est vraiment? What God did through him is uh, giving me the opportunity to exercise my, uh, my spiritual gifts. God has certainly done many things in my life through Pastor Jean-Yves. I remember the first time we ever met here was at a cafe, and I was going through a difficult phase in my life. I was, everything was dull, and I was at this crossroad. I needed to take a decision. I've already taken so many drastic decisions, but then I, everything was the flow. Then he comes in, and he listens to my story, and he tells me, do um, you remember when Moses and the Israelites were head on with the sea and behind it with the Egyptians. And Moses went crying to God for her, and God asked Moses, what do you have in your hands? When he said that, I, I it's true I had the bread in my hand, but I, I literally went back to my own story and found out all the work God has done and linked the pieces of my own story. And I found that uh, there were so many things, there were so many things I had in my hands and I'm not looking at them. And that changed everything for me, and it took me to the light. For me, he's just like uh, the centurion and Peter. He's that comes in to clear everything, all the doubt, and leads him to the direction of light. What God does through you in my life is next to leading me to Christ, is also that he uses you to challenge me to really live life like Jesus. God has used Pastor Life to help me grow as a person and as a woman in Christ. Um, through our many conversations when we studied my new life together. I'll say that our conversations were really enriching and it used to go really deep because we take so long to do something that was supposed to take us 10 weeks. I think it took a whole year almost to do it. Um, but yeah, so God has really used them to help me grow into the woman that I am becoming according to Christ. Whether it be through reading the Bible, studying the Bible or praying, every single week when we do our meetings, just by how he is, it really pushes me to get closer to God. J'ai pu grandir spirituellement et c'est quelque chose dont je suis très reconnaissant parce que le pasteur Jaïve est quelqu'un qui nous donne des exemples terre à terre de la parole et qui nous guide avec honnêteté et simplicité. C'est vraiment un mentor, c'est un guide. Il m'a vraiment comme toujours motivé, encouragé dans ma démarche dans le Seigneur. Donc personnellement, je pense que j'ai beaucoup, beaucoup grandi. Donc, je remercie vraiment le pasteur pour ça. Euh, le Seigneur a utilisé énormément pasteur Jean-Yves dans ma vie au cours des dernières années pour me relever, pour me restaurer et pour m'aider à me voir comme euh, une nouvelle créature, comme dirait Pasteur Jean-Yves. Through Pasteur Jean-Yves, I've had the opportunity to grow a lot spiritually and especially as a, as a leader, not only as a choir leader, but also as a life group leader. He has challenged me to grow in, in many areas, and uh, I, I appreciate uh, all the feedback and coaching I've received uh, from him, and this has definitely allowed me to be a better leader and to serve uh, people better. My favorite aspect about Pastor Jaïv is really uh, his sense of humor. I do find him uh, very funny and uh, um, I feel like sometimes even after like long weeks, uh, whenever I attend um, meetings, he always has like the right words to, to make me smile um, or make me laugh. So it's definitely something I, I appreciate about him. My favorite aspect is just that he is laid back. He's just like a regular person. Um, you know, he, he's a human, he understands. Uh, and when he doesn't understand, he tries to understand. He will always go back to God to have a correct understanding of things and a full picture of everything. My favorite aspect of Pastor Jaïv is his boldness for Christ. How he does what God has told him to do, no matter how crazy it may seem, no matter how how uh, far-fetched it may look. I mean, he left his job to follow God in ministry, a job that he was, you know, well-paid. Some people that may seem crazy because, you know, you're leaving the comfort for some struggle, but he, I guess he understood the reward that was awaiting him.
I have come to realize that probably you are the person in the whole world who knows me best more than my own blood family or anyone else. So he is one of us. It's not like he was the pastor all the way up here and then we were all the way down here. No, he's just like a friend. We can talk to him, be honest with him, and he will be the same for us, always there for us, uh, always ready to listen to us and talk to us. Uh, mon aspect favori que j'aime chez le pasteur Jean-Yves, c'est sa personnalité. C'est quelqu'un qui est ouvert, qui est compréhensif et qui est toujours disponible. Je, je dirais ça, sa simplicité. Sa simplicité dans ses réponses. Parfois, on a tellement tendance à, à compliquer les, les, les réponses parce qu'on veut tellement avoir une réponse euh, spécifique, euh, complexe, mais on se casse tellement la tête. Et puis quand on, quand on trouve une réponse simple, on n'y croit pas. Je dis, mais c'est pas possible qu'une réponse peut être simple. Mais quand ça sort du pasteur Jean-Yves, c'est comme si il nous illuminait par sa réponse qui était tellement simple qu'on attendait, mais qu'on ne croyait pas au début. Alors mon aspect favori chez le pasteur Jean-Yves, c'est vraiment sa disponibilité et sa simplicité. Il est disponible, euh, il est disposé et aussi il se soucie de notre célibat. Favorite memory of Pastor Jean-Yves? Hangover at Uncle Will's place is definitely one that stands apart. Uh, not for the food or everything that uh, will make for us to have a fun time that day, but inside I'm going to spare you all the details about the whole story, uh, just to spare Uncle Will some trouble from those that were no opportunity to be there. You can thank me later, Uncle Will, for this. Uh, Jacques, it's not about you, it's nothing personal. Anyway, what happened that day is I was sitting in this living room Oh, by the way, very furnished, very real. And we're watching the Bible early. And then this thing comes up when Jesus is dead on the cross. And then the sky is darkened. And the, the veil of the, of the temple is turned from top to bottom. And I ask, uh, what symbolizes the veil that is turned from top to bottom? And then uh, Pastor Jean is about to answer when Michel takes the lead. And Pastor Jean graciously allow him to to continue, and then Michel gives a wonderful explanation of everything, and then turns back to Pastor Jean once he's done, saying, so what's that, how do you find it? He said, perfect. He said exactly what he meant. I saw Michel with a little smile of satisfaction of a guy that has for a job well done. And this moment is special for me because uh, he actually shows Pastor Jean's type of leadership that of empowering a disciple. And we all know what it means for us to receive a public recognition from someone we look up to, which Pastor Jai did for Michel. And this is this was a, an informal situation where you don't expect him to be prepared for this type of situation. You know, when you're in church, he's ready for such type of scenario, but when you're out of this formal setting and then he acts this way, you know that he is not different from who is still in church and who we see out of uh, out of church. He's the same and I love his leadership. It was in 2013, I think that's the only, the first and only time that we played basketball together. I know that he played basketball back home when we were younger, um, but that time he played basketball, he was really, really good with his shots. When I came to Overcomers, I remember my first retreat when we went to Cornwall. Je passais par des moments difficiles et le pasteur Jean avait décidé de, de m'aider à passer au travers. Je me souviendrai toujours de cette phrase qui m'avait dit « We got your back, on, on te soutient, on est là pour toi. » Mon souvenir préféré avec le pasteur Jean-Yves, c'est euh, euh, quand euh, il m'avait accompagné à l'hôpital, j'étais malade. Euh, je vais dire préféré, on ne va pas dire c'est un événement joyeux, mais c'est un événement qui m'a marqué. Je suis reconnaissante. On a spiritual level, I think it is when I came crying to the church office and in my head, I just was like, I do not want the pastor to use any scripture on me right now. And you ended up still doing it. But I think for the first time, I felt that it was the right scriptures at the right moment and I needed to hear them. That actually changed something. 
in me on how I look at scriptures. And on a personal, because you were my friend before you were my pastor, I think is when you invited me to a party of friends where I didn't know anybody and I had no clue and you still were so welcoming and just invited me to join you guys anyways. So. Alors, mon souvenir préféré avec le pasteur, je dirais, quand j'ai commencé l'école des enfants, moi, c'est un moment que j'ai vraiment, vraiment, vraiment beaucoup apprécié. Euh, c'était avec pasteur Jean-Yves et maman Rose. C'était convivial. C'était un, un bon souvenir. Mon meilleur souvenir avec le pasteur, c'était le jour, à vrai dire, quand je me suis confessée à lui, quand je suis venue à lui, euh, lui parler d'un aspect de ma vie qui m'a vraiment euh, troublée. Je m'étais construit une identité à travers mon passé, et que lui, quand, il est, quand je lui en ai parlé, sa réponse était dans une douceur et dans une sagesse. Je, je m'attendais à vrai dire à une réponse tellement drastique, d'un jugement et tout, mais lui, il a été transparent. Il, il, il m'a répondu avec tellement d'amour, le pasteur, que j'en suis ressortie soulagée, à vrai dire, soulagée d'avoir confessé cette partie-là de ma vie. C'était vraiment une libération totale dans ma vie. Maybe baby showers when we have, I can think of two baby showers. One was Lydie's and one was uh, Mary's back. It was way back in like 2012 or 2013. And my favorite memories were just how competitive he is. Running around, trying to win. And I just, I love that part of, uh, I guess, the relationship that we have with the church. How even though he's a pastor, he's still a friend. I think that was in 2014 when I graduated. We were allowed to, to attend the ceremony with three people. So I attended with my mom, uh, Pastor Jean-Yves and, uh, and Richard. It's definitely uh, one of my uh, most memorable moments uh, with Pastor Jean-Yves uh, here in Montreal. It was a very important moment for me um, and I was happy to, to have him by my side. Alors, Pasteur Jean-Yves, tu es un homme au grand cœur, tu es un homme exceptionnel et je sais que le, le Seigneur a fait des choses extraordinaires au travers de ta vie. Des choses que l'œil n'a point vu, des choses que l'oreille n'a point entendu, des choses qui ne sont pas montées dans le cœur des hommes. Et j'espère bien être là à tes côtés pour, pour voir la gloire de Dieu être manifestée puissamment dans ta vie. Donc, je te dis merci. Stay the same, brother. Continue to, to dig into the scriptures, continue to seek God, continue to ask him to guide you. Stay yourself because God created you the way you are. Pastor Jean-Yves, I think you have an, an ability to just listen. Even though you're a talker like me, the difference is that you, you're able to summarize, to put things into perspective and to sometimes even hear what people have not actually even said. Uh, you truly are a blessing in my life. To know that I can call you and get advice from you, it is just really, there's, there's no money that could pay for that. Merci, merci pour uh, les efforts qu'il fait. C'est encourageant de voir un, un ministre de Dieu, quelqu'un qui sert Dieu avec eux, autant de passion, autant de, de zèle. C'est un exemple pour moi. Je pense que pour nous tous aussi, donc, euh, que le Seigneur continue de te bénir. Pasteur Jean-Yves, je voulais te dire un, un grand, grand merci. Merci euh, pour ta présence. Je remercie vraiment le Seigneur d'avoir une, une figure euh, spirituelle comme toi dans ma vie. Et je sais que euh, tu seras toujours disponible. Pour ça, je te dis merci. Franchement, je, je, je te remercie. Je te remercie de... de toutes vraiment les opportunités que tu nous donnes chaque, à, à chaque fois, pour, que ce soit pour servir, mais que ce soit aussi pour découvrir euh, le Dieu merveilleux qu'on sert, le Dieu d'amour qu'on sert. La manière que tu délivres le message de Dieu, il vient à chaque fois me challenger, je dirais. Et franchement, je te dis merci. Oui, c'est sûr qu'il y a Dieu a travaillé en moi, mais tu as contribué à cette... À, à ce, à ce que je suis aujourd'hui, la femme forte, la femme confiante et toutes les paroles que tu nous encourages à chaque fois, je te dis merci beaucoup. Merci, merci. It's really a privilege to serve under you and to have you as my pastor. Um, thank you for always making yourself available to pray for us, to support, to listen and provide pieces of advice. It's really 
a blessing to have a pastor that we can easily um, approach. Um, thank you very much for everything, for all the sacrifices you've made. And I'm excited to see what God will continue doing uh, through you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for all that you you give up for us um, to help us grow as people. And uh, just thinking about how, how invested you are in us is actually bringing tears to my eyes. And I'm really grateful to have a pastor like you. May God bless you for everything that you do. Uh, message Pastor Jai, what can I really say? Uh, he has a type of leadership I would like to exemplify. He has this personality of, of a friend I would like to be to others. He's that father I would like to emulate as I look Lizzie Guru every given Sunday. You know, I used to time whatever circumstances arranged for me to meet him. I have this very selfish intention of um, sucking uh, the, the base out of you. I just think it's fair play that I let you know, even though I don't think you have any chances of stopping that, given that you are the spiritual father and I am the son, and just like any other child, I intend to scream when need be for something. In a closing, I would like to like you to do me a favor. Uh, please get Rose some roses or a dinner certificate or a thank you note because I strongly believe she had a lot to do as a contribution to the person you've become, that person that had that voice that turned my life from darkness to light. Then link to the puzzle of my own life. Stay blessed, continue working on that voice, that voice that's going to lead many to, to Christ. I love you.